So I wanna go over creating an app. This is a point we glanced over really quickly using FlyCTL in previous videos, but here I wanna show you creating an app programmatically as well. And there's a reason why you're gonna to wanna to do that. So we see here just a request to make an app. It's very vanilla. It's still using the machine's API endpoint. We just pass it some JSON that passes the app name and the organization into which you create the app. The default is personal when you create a new account on Fly, but you can create other organizations as well. Every organization is paid separately and has its own billing. So you don't want any model necessarily that creates like an organization per customer in your end. Typically, you'll want to make an app per customer. But why is that? An app is just a shell for machines. So in theory, you can just create machines all day long within a single app. But you might want to make an app per user. And that is because of a uh, lately documented feature here under here where you can define a network for an app. Now, if you add an extra parameter here called network and give it an arbitrary name, the name is arbitrary, this segments all machines inside of this app in their own little private network. This means, uh, well, there are trade-offs to what it means. The most important thing is a security thing. If we're gonna run user code, we don't wanna trust that user code, right? That user code can reach out to networks or make network calls to other places, including other apps within your organization. You don't want that. So. We are going to segment each app into their own private network. This means creating an app per customer, an app per user within our fictional code base here. So a network of some arbitrary name is gonna put all machines spun up within this app into their own private network. These machines cannot reach out of this private network into your other apps inside of Fly.io. So it's pretty segmented, it's secure that way. Uh, there are some other things you can still do. One is that you can actually continue to use the fly replay header. That's not something we talked about yet, but you can use the fly replay header to route requests into apps, uh, into segmented apps like this, if you have such a setup. The other thing to note here is that all of the machines within a segmented app can communicate with each other. So if you wanna spin up like a machine that runs some code and a machine that runs MySQL, those can communicate with each other within this app. Your machines within an app do not need to be homogenous. They can run different images. They can run different virtual machines and run different software within them. So what does it look like to create an app with its own segmented network? It's pretty simple. So we have the exact same post request that we saw in our example in the documentation. We're still talking to the machines API. We're going to the slash apps endpoint with a post request, which is how we're gonna create a new app. And the JSON we pass is really not special at all, right? It's an app name, an org slug, and then we have this network key and the network name, which is completely arbitrary. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. I usually name it something related to the app name. And because we're naming apps after our users, I typically will do something like user dash in you know, some identifier for that user, that customer, whatever your model is for your business. So we'll make this post request. This should create an app. And apparently my network name cannot have an underscore. So let's just go ahead and fix that. It probably can take a dash though. Let's use a dash, let's see what happens. And that worked, okay. So we have a new app called user123abc, right? It's just a unique app, an app per user here, an app per customer, whatever makes sense in your business model. Our organization slug is just personal, which is just your default organization slug for Fly accounts, but you can make other organizations. And then we have the network parameter here, which is defining a network that makes sure all machines in this app are segmented into their own private network. So those machines cannot reach out to other uh, apps within your Fly account. So your users, your untrusted user code cannot make network calls to other apps or other users accounts or whatever, but we can still do some fun things like create multiple machines within an app that can communicate with each other over the private network or use the fancy Fly replay header whose details I will not cover right now, but you can still use that to write requests to machines within a segmented app.